Hi there, guys. It's Dean here from My Family Collect. How you all doing today? David S in the house. We've got Paddy and Jen. Hello, guys. How you doing? So it's going to be an express 50 pence hunt again. We've only got limited time to, to bat it out. So what's the score on again to do today? So rush about trying to get the get through get the kiddies. So let me do the usual, get everything transferred over to my phone. We can actually find what I'm looking for. There we go. Okay, dog. So just bear with me, guys. <clears throat> Okay, very, 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 right. Quite here. We sent, how you doing, buddy? Scott, oh, sorry, me. Scott's coins, hands coins, that's me. Dragon Lord coins. Just trying to start everything over to my phone. So flip you around, enter studio. Hello. So we have got Clapham Coins, hello. Colin Tomlinson, hello. Yeah, 50p hunt today. So we've got three bags to choose from. We're only going to do one bag, I think. Bear in mind the time. Um, not too sure about uh, King Batman 101. Hello? King Batman 101, is that Jimmy? No, I'm fine. Um, <clears throat> just being Nani Sue, hello. I've uh, just been keeping a, a low profile, I suppose. Um, to say princess hello keeping a low profile if you have nothing nice to say then say nothing at all that's been really the best bet so a few things been eating at me um behind the scenes in the community but uh yep yeah, back again back again with the uh, get this rock and rolling again um last week um last friday amber found a q garden so i'm hoping that That'd be much appreciated, the King Batman 101. Um, yeah, so last week Amber found the Kew Garden, so uh, we've got a, a postcard there for Amber to open. Um, we got it sent, so um, looking forward to, to giving it to Amber. I'm not, Monte, hello. I'm not too sure if we're going to go, get a chance to go on later on. It'd be great to go on later on do another coin hunt, but um, just let me flip the camera. It's somebody's birthday today. It's his birthday today. So going to pick him up, get him through, and possibly, um, not too sure, we might get a chance to go in later on. I don't know. Um, let James do a quick wee hunt for his birthday and open, get Amber to open up her card that she got um, from someone. I'm assuming it's to do with the Kew Garden, which would be absolutely fantastic. Um Paddy's found football. Happy days. Um, so I'm hoping we find something half decent in our bag. So rather than me blabbing on, let's get the camera flipped around and get the coin hunt on the go because we've run out of time. Purely we've got the I've got the kids to pick up from school and it's a half hour drive away. Yeah, I'm fine, Nanny Sue. Yeah, we definitely do need time out every so often. Paddy got out the vending machine. You lucky swine. Uh, well done, you. I've never had a, an Olympic football out of a, a vending machine. I've had a, a, I had a goal ball out of the change machine at Lidl. Um, got a goal ball just popped out. And I was like, oh, that's a, that's a keeper. So 
So let me just flip this around. But I'm not even bothering with lights or anything today. You're just going to have to bear with me. It's lighty enough. It's uh, quite a sunny day today, so uh, let's have a little look, see what we're needing for book number three. I've organised book number three. Had a bit of time to organise that out, so had a bit of time to organise that. So some easy ones in there that I'm not even going to bother unless I find half decent quality ones. Um, nothing on that page apart from the, the spaces there for a Kew Garden. I would go in book number two if we do find one. In Olympic basketball, Olympic boxing, Olympic football, Paddy. We're looking for a handball, a table tennis, and a triathlon. This should be easy enough to find. Um, but I don't know if we'll put it in the book. Jemima would be fantastic for the book today. 17 shields should be okay. Should be fine, should be fine, should be fine. Nice easy coins. You should find quite a lot of them in a hunt. This would be good for the book today. Easy to find. Easy, easy, easy. And that should be a hard one. Um, it's going to be quite a hard one to find, I think. We did find a big bun abundance um, of them, but. Um, did find quite a lot of them, but. They seem to be in sealed bags. So let's have a look at what we've got here. So we've got bag number one from the post office, bag number two also from the post office, and bag number three yet again is from the post office. Um, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this looks like it's from the Dundee branch. And these have been sent in from other branches. So bag number one, two, or three, what do we think? What are you guys want to go for today? Bag number one, number two, or number three? Paddy and Jen saying two, 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 two. David S is saying bag number two. So how are you, Carrick? How are you doing? I got something in the post today from uh, Carrick. I've got this to open up. But it was received. Just open up and have a little look. Uh, bag number two, bag number two, one, three, one. Uh, bag number two is then. So I think we should only manage one bag. And as I said, I might be able to get one later with uh, James, the birthday boy. And let Amber open up a, a parcel that she, a card that she was sent in in the, the mail. Bag number two is. So whilst. I've got this out on the table, this this trade. I'm just going to crack it open. Let's have a little look. So nothing worse than sending something in the mail and not sure if it's been arrived, or it's been received or not at the other end. The Royal Mail seem to pick and choose when they're actually delivering stuff. I've seen quite a lot of that. Mail not getting delivered, and it's not fair because it's actually cost somebody pennies to send something. Okay, so we have got here inside the envelope a little letter as well with a with a card. Let's have a look, what I'll read. Hi Dean, this is William and Emma from Carrot Collects. Here is the Northern Ireland Commonwealth Games two pound coin. As you can't, as you can't help with both judo and wrestling, I need three more to finish my Potters. They are the 2018 Peter Rabbit, Mrs. Tiltmouse, and the Puddle Duck. Any help would be appreciated, and let me know when the inserts come. P.S. Internet should be back up on the 16th. Well, hopefully you get the internet up and running very very soon. That was from Carrick. Thank you very much. Um, should we get a tittle mouse out to you? That's not a problem at all. Paddy's comment. Oh, what's Paddy saying? Dean the Bairn said thank you for the badge. And the badge. Huh? You got all someone famous of TV. 
Oh, that's sweet. Um, who did he get it from? Uh, somebody famous off the TV. Uh, Paddy Beginners or something? Certainly not from... There's nobody, no, nobody famous in this house. But uh, no, that's much appreciated. Thank you for letting me know. Um, that's sweet that he, that he likes his badge. Um, well, I'm glad he's got a, a badge that he can wear than, a, than something else that... He can't read until he's 18. Okay, so, yeah, I'll get that out to you, Karek. I'll get that organised for you. The uh, Mrs. Little Mouse, that's not a problem. I've got a few of them. Um, but the judo. Judo, judo, judo. I think I might have a judo in this book. So I wonder, I'm trying to think if, I've, if I find a judo, if it's a spare or not. My next judo. We'll go. Well packaged. Thank you very much. And here we are. Two pound coin. Commonwealth Games. And it is the Northern Ireland. So thank you very, very much. That is much appreciated. Thank you. Well packaged. So if you're doing any trades with Carrick, comes well packaged. And uh, they'll let you know when it's all been sent as well, so it's not you know you're not guessing. So any trades with Carrick, you're you're totally fine. Okay, so two hundred and fifty pounds and fifty pences, and this is from Midlothian. Most of it's from Roslyn. Hmm? Where's Rosalind Chapel is? Rosalind. Hmm. There's a beautiful chapel there, Rosalind Chapel. So hopefully there's some fancy coins in here. A couple of Kew Gardens, football. Realistically, anything for the book is a happy day. A keeper is even better. Um, We've got in the house, we've got an Andy, 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 Andy Walton, hello, Jim Bone, hello, anybody else this? Miss Michael Cook, hello. Okay, so let's get cracking. So £250, let's make sure there is £250 here. They, should, they come in £10 bags, so there should be 25 bags. So two, four, six, this fantastic set. Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, and a bag that's, that's uh, opened itself up. So if anybody from the Roslyn Post Office, um, if you ever need to know how to tie the, or how to close up the bank bags, you give me a shout. But I'll show you how to do the, the bank bags. It's really difficult. It's uh, thumbs inside there like that, flip it over, boom, done. done. So we've got 250 pounds and 50 pences. Let the coin hunting begin. Oh, let's see what we've got today. See if we can find anything. Any any ideas anybody can put their crystal ball out and they can work out what we're gonna to find today? Any crackers? If we find an absolute cracker for the book, we'll uh, we'll dig out the Badges and we'll do a giveaway. There's Paddington. At the Palace with no errors. Year 2018. Paddington at the Tower of London. Year 2019. And the Sherlock Holmes. Year 2019. I think the best bag I've had of late was the, the sealed bag from the post office. 
and it was the a year 2017 sealed bag. So there was not a single Paddington or um, not a single Paddington or Sherlock in, in sight. It was fantastic. There's one for the charity jar. The charity jar in a second. Let's have a look at that. So our charity is Diabetes UK. Any coin that we find that is a Christopher Ironside, Benjamin Britten or year 2017 shield will go into the Diabetes jar at Christmas time. It will all be calculated out how much we are, how much we are, uh, We've raised, and Paddy and Jen are going to top it up. Was it? Yeah, we'll get that cracked out as well when, when we find one. So there's Chris for Ironside, year 2013, for the jar. First coin in the jar. Research and on a monster, how are you keeping? So Paddy and Jim got one right. Let's we'll see if we can find an absolute beezer of a coin for the, the book. That would be... It's always good adding. Even if you add one coin per week um, or per hunt into the book, it's still a good hunt. Over time, it'll soon tick away. So Paddington at the Tower of London, a Beatrix Potter anniversary coin, the year the 150th anniversary. It was year 2016. Mr. Jeremy Fisher, year 2017. And a Tom Kitten, the year 2017. Yep, so I'll just say quickly with regards to trades, I personally don't do trades often. Um, it's not so much that um, I'm looking for anything in particular, it's just I've, I've got quite a few different spares and stuff like that, but when the right, the right coin comes up, I'm always happy to do a trade. And uh, I'm easy ozy. just if somebody needs something, I'll, if I've got it, you can get it, it's not a problem. But uh, certainly Carrick, I thought I would have had the, the spare judo, but I blame Suzanne Barker for that one. That's where she's been into my bags, into my spare box. Taylor Peter Rabbit, year 2017. I'm only joking about Susie, by the way. She's <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. Another one, two of them, year 2019. So Nanny Sue's waiting on the ferry back to the mainland. Wonder if this will be a good hunt today. If there's one coin to the book, would be good. Or one good coin to the book. No, I'm not bothered about uh, Tom Kitten. Unless it's a really good quality Tom Kitten or Benjamin. NHS, Stars, any of them, they'll be accepted. Uh, suffragettes, you're always welcome in my spare box. No. So, was that the first one? Yep, Honey Monsters had something made up. Bogey bag. So we got our first bogey bag. So there we go, bogey bag. Our first bogey bag of the day. If anybody doesn't know what a bogey bag is, a bogey bag is when you find a bag and there's not a single commemorative in it at all. And that is your a boogie bag. That's a 15. I thought maybe in a 16 shield there. Eh? We are looking for the NIFC shields. NIFC is not intended for circulation, so the years are 2009, 10, 11, 16, and 18. So if you find them in your change, someone's popped out of your set. There's another two Sherlock Holmes. Quite a few Sherlocks today. And a Benjamin Bunny, a Benjamin. 
year 2017. That's, that's another him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a problem at all, Carrick. As I said, the first judo that comes into my my palm. I'll have your name on it. So I do apologise if anybody's commenting and I'm not reading it out. I'm not ignoring you what we're first 2011. Oh. You're looking for a cue for him. Yeah, I'm looking for a cue for him. Um, in fact, Jim, let me just check my back pocket. I should have got a spare one for you. Ah, uh, sorry, Jim. It's, it's a letter Y. It was the Yeoman Warder, sorry. Uh, Yeoman Warder and uh, Arthur Robin, year 2018. Sorry, buddy. I thought I might have had a cue for you, but... It's a Sherlock, another Sherlock. Uh, Jeremy Fisher. A year 2014 Glasgow Commonwealth Games. And a year 2011. Can it be one of the following? So for the Olympics, what we're looking for is basketball, boxing, football, handball, table tennis, and triathlon. Or, Tarkaric, judo. So, oh, the other pocket. Uh, the other pocket's IOU. Uh, just territories, in fact, to the other pocket. Uh, it's sad, I'm just jumping about with different territories and that in my pockets. Um, that's for somebody I'm doing a wee trade with. Promised them I'd send them some stuff. Yeah, Jim. So, I, I, I got a... From an absolutely fantastic gentleman, um, I've got a, a card of judo and a trade. So... Uh, <coughs> That's not Corona, by the way. Just stress that. Um, got a card to judo and as a trade. So that was from Jim Bone. So, Jim, thank you very, very much. I don't know if you've seen the, the live from the other day, but uh, certainly got your parcel well packaged. And again, Jim Bone's a fantastic person to trade with. David S, fantastic to trade with. Nanny Sue, Disney Princess. Um, not sure if I've done any trades with Monte. Michael Cook, got one in line with you. Um, but again, honestly, guys, Chat to someone off, off off stream. Don't just do a trade on on live stream just now and say, "Oh, I'll do a trade with you," and then find out, even if you don't know anything about them. Ask around, find out if anybody's traded with them before, get the contact details, chat to them for a little bit, and uh, just make sure you trust them. Take a photograph of what you're sending them, and make sure when you do get the receipt, send them a copy if they request it. Uh, but make sure you've got your receipt with the tracking number, um, and try your best to send a first class recorded. First class, it's in the mail, less uh, less amount of time. The least, the least time it's in the mail, the better. Uh, less chance of uh, tempted, sticky finger postman um, getting their fingers on it. So, Olympic. is an Olympic, is an Olympic. As long as it's not bulkier, I'm fine. Goal ball. Hey, that'll do. Sure, that's a spare. Uh, yeah. It's actually better quality than that one, so I'll flip them over. Um, it's a better quality one, so there we go. A non pick, yeah. As long as it's not blocky, <clears throat> can't be doing it. Uh, Michael, could you still need um, for some goodies yet? Yeah, we'll get that organized for you, buddy. I'll WhatsApp you when we're, when we're done. So, we're first Olympic, so I think it's not a disaster when you find an Olympic, regardless if you need it or not. I even say, I suppose, Bokia. Bokia is a, a small win if you find the Bokia, but oh, it's haunting me. The Bokia, 50 pence, is, is, is honestly haunting me. Build up a bit of suspense. What can it be? When you turn it over and it's the, the, the most boring design for the Olympics. So we've got Paddington at St Paul's Cathedral, year 2019. 
But I do say an Olympic is an Olympic is an Olympic. Take them all day long. You're going to do a bulky quarter. Oof. Well, certainly not for these Olympics anyway. Uh, part of the Olympics. Uh, can't see them going ahead personally, but if you're not going to go to the football match, if you're not going to go to a football match, a football game, then why are they going to put tens of thousands of people in one place? Guess what? Bogey bag. You're just joshing. Ah, uh, no problem. No, it's uh, the hockey is just. Oh, maybe some people like it. Um, maybe you've got a a relative that's played for the te team GB. In Bokia, maybe that's something that means something to you, but certainly for me, it's just one of these coins, same with the representation of the People Act. That's just another one that I just can't be doing with. Um, I do need it for my book, but I'll probably find a Kew Garden before I put one of them in my book, unless I find one in absolutely tip top condition. Johnson Dictionary, year 2005. Very nice quality scouts. Year 2007, be prepared. It's a nice one, actually. And another Paddington at St. Paul's. So hopefully everyone can keep away from this coronavirus. I don't think we're ever going to be able to avoid it. What, was, what were you saying earlier on, Honey Monster? Government have given out what they, their stats are, what they think is going to happen. 80% population will get 80% of British population will get this coronavirus. To be fair, it's... Uh, you can't avoid it. Um, unless you're living in a bubble. So two Sherlock Holmes and a Benjamin. There you go. Bye, Carrie. Look after yourself. So I heard that in Ireland they, they closed down the schools <clears throat> for, a, for a month. It's uh, maybe not a bad idea. Maybe not the worst idea on the planet. Only problem is what happens with childcare? What happens to the economy when people are not working? And... Thank you. You just got added to a deficit. No, I meant the government. How can they afford it? There's Tom Kitten. He said they can, yeah. You just print off some more, uh, some more money. Leave my church and stop meetings um, worldwide to further notice. Yeah, it's uh, it is starting to become common practice. Um, it makes sense, but you know, as long as there's not people who are relying on these these uh, like church services and stuff that you know relying them to get out the house, and all of a sudden they're locking themselves away, <clears throat> they live on their own. If you have got any elderly neighbours or relatives or whatever, please just check in on them. Keep an eye on them. In touch with telephone, whatever. It's a shame to think that people are locking themselves away from a, a virus. So Paddington at St Paul's, another anniversary coin. And Paddington with one, two, three, er four errors. This is the quadruple error, the Dan Temple error, as the kids say, the pigeon poo error, the pigeon poo slide down the side of the hat, and the chip on the shoulder. So quadruple error. 
Does they no, they no arms and never goes. Yeah, just everyone goes about with masks on it. Hand, hand sanitizers and... Even hand sanitizers are... You can't get any. Where we are, you cannot get hand sanitizers from the chemist or whatever. Everyone's bulk buying that in toilet roll. Not too sure if people know what the coronavirus does to your body. I don't think it comes at the other end, but... They're still stocking up on that and pasta. And a pa tail of Peter Rabbit. Honey Monster's got his Amazon delivery coming, aren't you? A lorry full of toilet rolls, yeah. Nah. Just in case. And you get the deliveries like that, you're probably more, ca more chance of catching the coronavirus from the delivery driver than you have. Just being sensible, wash your hands. Stuff like that, you know, make sure you're washing your hands with soap and water. Oh, John, I'm going to stop by all his toilet roll in the bell things. Hey, just wait, just butt across the grass. Hey, Jim. Can't eat bog roll. No, you should get a slap in the nose for that, don't you? Oh, 2018. Ah. Representation of the People Act. Okay, so we've got a Benjamin Bunny. Really, you, Benjamin. Another Scouts. And a representation of the People Act, year 2018. Yeah, do you know, it's, it's, it's funny saying that, you know, can you wash your hands in vodka? But it would certainly do the job. It would crack your hands, I suppose, over time. But the alcohol, that's all in these alcohol rubs. It's alcohol. It's, it, Kills the germs and the bacteria. You can't beat soap and water. Wonder when they're going to sell it soap in none of the shops. Tail piece of rabbit. I've got a five litre of soap down the road. <laughs> you put, need to put it on the black market. Uh, David stop stocking up on his Red Bull. That's it. He's making sure he's he never runs out. David S is only ever one afternoon away from running out of his uh, beloved. I need to try and get as much water as I can. Actually, I drink flavored water. Let's try and crack down and get some more of that before they sell out with that. It'll be the next thing. So Sherlock Holmes, a tail of Peter Rabbit, and another Paddington with no errors. There's a bag with what six coins in it, and there's a cracker. There's a territory. What Sue D in the house? Hello. After washing your hands with alcohol, you can drink it now. That was it. <laughs> what a nice territory there. Lovely territory, actually. That's one for the book. You've got year 2014. Milner's Tower. Lovely coin. I don't think, well, in fact, I'm saying I don't think we'll have it. Definitely don't have it in the back of the book. I just put my territories in the other day for uh, book number two, uh, book number three. Got the Guernsey Freesia, Isle of Man TT, Baloka Jersey. So Milner's Tower can go in the back of the book. Yeah, the Terzi coins are lovely here. So Milner's Tower is the Isle of Man. Black coffee for Disney. Drink black coffee, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. 
or get powdered milk, coffee mate, something like that. If you're gonna, you're worrying about running out of milk, powdered milk, here, like that type of thing. Pock up on that, but this panic buy thing, I've just. Is anybody out there panicking just now? Worrying if I've got enough spaghetti. We've got a Johnson Dictionary and another Sherlock. We've got quite a lot of Sherlocks today. I can imagine Sue D police in the kitchen. In her house. Keeping Scott away from the biscuit tin. We've got to last. That's got to be done, you know, you if you are wanting to try and stockpile stuff, it's better tins, you know, going away and getting fresh stuff. You can't stockpile stuff, it's going to go out of date in a, a few days or a week. Or you go to your local Asda the next day. That's one thing you hate, don't you, is getting the online delivery. When it comes and everything goes out of date the next day. <laughs> Send you alternatives, and it's not that you, you... Yeah. Yeah, they send you alternatives. You need dog food, and they send you cutlet instead. Like, what? We've got a Paddington at the Palace with zero errors. Again, when you guys are doing coin hunts, if you are doing coin hunts, make sure you wash your hands, because... Regardless of this coronavirus or whatever, just there's some, the coins are filthy anyway, at the best of times. Always make sure we we'll wash our hands afterwards. Sometimes you get a really bad bag, it's you wash your hands during. So, one Olympic, we've got the goal ball, always have to be there in Olympic. What have we got here? 13. And one coin for charity. So what, two Paddington at the Tower of London's. We've got four bags left. The fair latex gloves, Maxi. Um, yeah, yeah, you can do them. I like it. I certainly like the feel of the coins um, when I'm doing the coin hunt because you can tell by the texture if it's a, a fake, the weight. You can always tell by the weight of the coins and the, the texture of the coins, the feel of the coins, if they're, if they're real or not. 2019, 19, and 19. Boogie bag. Bag number three. Gen C, hello. They yeah, said we are going to try and get the, the kiddies on. Should we check? Um, try and get the kiddies on, see if Amber can find another queue. Well, it's James's birthday today. So happy birthday, son. No, I just showed the bogey, bogey bag just then. Yeah. yeah. Now, whoever it is that said that, you need to... Uh... Well, I'll see it there. Oh, you did. That's not as many as that far. Ah, the honey monster needs to... Uh... That's a bit of two years old. There we go. Victoria Cross, Hero Cats, year 2006. As the kids say, the wounded shoulder, the favourite S coin. Yeah, happy birthday, James. So we're looking forward to maybe getting them from school. It's a half hour drive away, so I'll go and pick them up. And oh, there's a nice one. Pick them up from school. And uh, we'll see if we can try and get them on, if I can get more coins. I've got two bags there, but I'm going to need three bags. So if the kids are doing the hunts. So we have got another Sherlock Holmes and a keeper, the tailor of Gloucester. 
year 2016. Last bag. David S. Is there a trade with Judith? Michael Queen. What, what picture does that? Oh, it's like a grabbing machine. And a black bobble. Uh, last bag. So we are going to see. We're going to flip the coins over. I'm definitely going to flip that gold, gold ball over because the one in the book's a bit tatty looking. Oh, what a coin here. No date on the obverse. IRB. So we know it can only be one of three coins. Someone can pop up on the screen what the three coins are. See if you pay attention. We know it can be. Commonwealth Games, most likely. WWF, that'd be nice. And the coin that Amber found last week. The Q. So no, there's no way I'll find a Q um, again. Um, but still, so we know there's no date on the obverse. So it can only be on the reverse. It's an IRB. So we know that it's only one of three coins. Q Garden, WWF, or Commonwealth Game. What? Ah. Oh. I don't even, I thought it said IRB. JC, so it's not even, it's not even that, it's a JC, so it's Battle of Hastings. Check me out. I swear it said IRB. It's because I've not got my proper lights on, you see. That's my excuse. Nothing to do with my eyesight. So, there we go. Let's have a look at the book then. So, I, I'm going to take out the gold ball, because that one's quite grubby looking. Yeah, that one's quite grubby. Let's compare them. Yeah, that one's needing, needing some TLC. But I'll still keep that one as a spare. That is a nice one to have as a spare. Get it all tidied up and you know, one pick out, one pick in. And we're then going to put the Milner's Tower. Which is an absolutely beautiful coin. Year 2014. You can go to the back. Slide you in. So we did get some badges made up. And they are available. If anyone would like to make a purchase of them. Cool, lovely. That goes in just nicely. Snug as a bug and a rug. So we've got some badges made up. So as you already know, we have got the My Family Collects badge with the queue in the background. We've got more of these in. Crack and find with a Flopsy Bunny. They sold out um, last week. Get in. Offside rule explained. And a brand new coin, a new, brand new coin, brand new badge. Amber found the queue. Stop, drop and roll. So Amber found the queue garden last week. And her saying is, stop, drop and roll. If she ever found the queue, she'd stop, drop and roll. So if she was on fire, I guess what she did? She screamed out, stop, drop and roll. And she rolled about the floor. After crying and being excited and oh, it was so sweet. Oh. So that was that. So if anybody's interested in them, yeah, it's a, that is a nice nice one. The Amber found the queue, stop, drop and roll. Well, let me just have a look at the banners. Can I edit that? Edit. Here we go. There we 
go. So let's save that. Show that. There we go. Badges are available for a donation of £2.83, including the post. All you need to do is drop us. Uh, my family collects at outlook.com is the PayPal. So when you're going through PayPal, you make a donation to my family collects and £2.83. That will cover the postage and to get that out to you. And uh, just pick which badge you want. A 283 per badge and uh, on the monster I'll look into emails and stuff like that later, won't you? Yeah, I'm sending out memory is interested. But uh, certainly I do love that one. Uh, it just makes it so sweet. Um, Amber found the cue. Stop, drop and roll. So well done, Amber, for your absolutely fantastic um, find last week. I haven't even got the coin with me. It's tucked away, hidden. Um, but four foot earth on top of it. No, uh, just put it away nice and safe. Um, like kids have looked at it later on, but again, you know, you spend all this time with the book open. Book number one, we're waiting on a queue for a very long time. Book number two, we're looking for a queue, and that'll be book number two complete. Book number three, we're waiting on a good few different ones. So Back to the charity, Diabetes UK. We only found one coin for the charity jar today. That was the Christopher Ironside. So Christopher Ironside goes in, and that'll be donated at the end of the year to Diabetes UK. And we'll look forward to, to getting that done. Um, anything you want to add, Honey Monster? Nope, Honey Monster's fine. So I found, yeah, Paddy and Jen found an Olympic football today out the vending machine at his work. So happy, happy days. Michael Cook saying that we a fight of the century. What we're talking about, one with Fury and Joshua, or one about Jim. Jim and his wife. Jim and his wife. Yeah, I know my money's. I, I I love you, Jim. I think you're a great guy, but I know where my money is, and it's not in the doghouse. Money ain't going to the doghouse. Uh, Amber would win, Michael. Yeah. So honestly, I think uh, Amber done absolutely brilliant last week. She found the Q Garden, and that was book number one complete. Going to try and get the kids on, possibly half past five, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we'll try and get the kids on anyway at some point. But Amber has got something in the mail. She was sent from one of our uh, lovely subscribers. So, she said this. That was from Ocean Gems Jack. So, thank you very much, Jack. Get the amber to open that up. So I'm assuming it's something to do with the queue. It doesn't feel like there's another queue garden in there, mind you. Uh, thank you very much. I'll get Amber to open that up. And it is James's birthday today, so happy birthday, son. Looking forward to seeing you. And uh, I think we're going to wrap things up here. Um, if anybody has purchased a... <laughs> um, anybody has purchased a badge, just put in the comments, paid. And the money wants to check that out, make sure that you you have paid and he's got your address and get that sent out to you. So anybody got anything more to add? Um as I said I'm gonna try and get more another bag of coins for the kids to do. Um but we'll just need to wait and see. So it is James's birthday and we do want to him to enjoy his birthday, but at the same time, I'm sure he, he would stop, drop and roll if he got told he was doing a coin hunt today. Um <laughs> regardless if he found a cure or not. Um, any of these ones here are half decent. They're all they're all easy enough to find, so I'm not too fussed about getting them in the book. Uh, medals, we didn't find the medals today. Dictionary, there was nothing. There was no nice dictionaries found today. Bannisters, none, none at all today. We did find the gold ball, which is going to be a spare one. We switched it over for the one for the book. Battle Hastings. 
probably put that back actually. We've got quite a lot of them. Taylor of Gloucester, that is definitely a keeper. And uh, Paddington with four errors. So that's a keeper as well. Milders Towers in the book already. And I think that is us ready to wrap up and to get tidied away and get everything squared away and then go and get the kids from school. So, guys, have an absolutely fantastic day. If we are on later on, we'll do like a 15 minute notification. We'll, we'll drop everyone, uh, let them know we are going live. And all you need to do is make sure you've hit the bell. It'll give you notifications as to when we are going live. And uh, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Um, I wish I was able to do more coins. I've got more coins there, but I wish I was able to do more, but I can't because it's a school run today. So anyway, have a fantastic great day, guys. Enjoy yourselves, look after yourselves, and uh, I'll speak to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.